Hey everyone, welcome back to part five of topic four in our database class. In this video, I'm going to discuss types of conceptual relationships that we might find in entity relationship models. All right, and of course, our third major component of these entity relationship diagrams will be relationships. And again, we've seen these before. We typically use a line to represent a relationship between two or more entity classes. So we might, for example, have an entity class here, another one here, and uh, we represent those as rectangles and we're gonna have some sort of line between them. Sorry, that should be a line, but grab that line tool. So we have some kind of line that connects them, indicating that the rows in one of those entities are related to the rows in the other entity in some way. However, as we'll soon see in entity relationship modeling, we have visual tools that we can use to express much more detail about the nature of the relationship between two tables than we have encountered thus far in looking at database designs in our class. Okay. So entities may be connected to other entities. Remember, this is optional. There's no requirement that every entity be related to at least one other, right? So they may be connected to other in relationships. These relationships are depicted using lines on a very basic level, and we'll expand upon that shortly. But so we do need to talk a little more philosophy here. So one of the characteristics of a relationship is its degree, okay? And uh, the degree of the relationship, as it says here, will tell us the number of entity classes or tables, if you prefer, that will participate in the relationship. So a degree one relationship is unary. And uh, this is, remember, the degree is the number of tables that participate in the relationship. So unary or degree one relationship is a relationship involving just one table. Or put differently, it is a table that is related to itself. Okay. So it's not connected to another table. This relationship is just a table that is related to itself. And we'll learn more about that at the end of topic four and into topic five as we study recursive relationships. Degree two or binary relationships are by far the most common type of relationship that we're going to have in our database designs. So this is a relationship between two tables. Anytime you see two tables or entities and they are connected with a relationship line like that, that is a binary relationship, okay? So a connection between two tables, a degree two or binary, but we can build it out from there. So conceptually, for example, we can have ternary relationships. This is not something that we can fully implement, but we do have a way of accounting for these sorts of things. The idea here would be, imagine that we had a design that involves three tables. Maybe these are our three tables and we have some kind of three-way connection between them. That looks like that. So this is a ternary relationship, but we can't actually implement this as we'll learn, as we saw with associative entities. And we'll see again, what we really need here is a fourth table in between to serve as glue that connects those three tables together. But conceptually, we can have a degree three or ternary relationship, or you can also have a degree four relationship, right? And just build it up from there. It's just that we cannot actually implement that as a real world physical database if we're using a relational, like an enterprise level relational database management system. So we'll need to implement additional tables to support anything above a binary relationship. All right, so just a few lovely pictures of these three degrees of relationships. So the first of these is a unary relationship. And remember, a unary relationship is one in which a table is related to itself. Now, this particular design here embeds a certain cultural bias, right? This suggests that each person, each row in the person table could be related to at most one other person in that table in a marriage relationship. So many human cultures are this way. Legal systems are in place and traditions, uh, social mores, et cetera, that dictate that uh, each person can be married to only one other person at a time. It's not universally true and we acknowledge that, but uh, for purposes of this illustration, that's what we're implementing here. 
So imagine that we live in a society where the business rule of the society is that each person can only be married to one other person at a time. Well, this type of conceptual unary design might work very well for that. This is our relationship line here, right? And it's just showing that, hey, this table is related to itself, right? Each person in here can be connected to a maximum of one other person in a marriage relationship. But it's just people that are involved, and this is why the table is related to itself. All right, so that's a conceptual unary, conceptual binary, very familiar. Again, this is by far the most common type of degree of relationship that we encounter. So here we have employees and the parking spaces, and we have some sort of relationship between them. So maybe in our world, an employee can be assigned to one parking space and a parking space is assigned to one employee. So we have two different classes here, entity classes, employee and parking space. We have a relationship between them. It is a degree two relationship because there are two tables involved in this relationship. And then conceptually, again, we can have ternary relationships or even higher level ones than that, higher degrees. So here's a conceptual a degree three or ternary relationship in which we see a connection between doctors and patients and drugs. And uh, the combination of a doctor, a patient, and a drug can be thought of as a prescription. Okay. So again, this is conceptual. We could not implement this degree three relationship as depicted here in a real world relational database. Instead, we would need to create a fourth table, which we would probably call prescription. That would serve as an intersection table, allowing us to keep track of which doctors are prescribing which drugs to which patients, right? But conceptually, we can understand that there are relationships in the business world that involve more than just two concepts or two classes. In this case, it's three.